Four matches to go, 12 points still available. We are second in the league, but we are still not guaranteed for a place in the championship playoffs. So, yeah, let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Journeyman on Football Manager 20. We are here in Mexico with our mighty Santos Laguna. And since yesterday's episode, obviously I didn't play any games off camera. We have four matches left, four games left, 12 points available. But um, we are still not guaranteed a place in the championship playoffs. So we, I think we need one more win. So... Hopefully we can get it today and uh, secure a place in in the championship playoffs. But um, in order to do that, we need to win against Veracruz. Today we're playing Veracruz home. And after that, we will be playing Tijuana. So I want to win against Veracruz in order to settle the score, have our minds at rest that we're playing the championship playoff, and then we'll take it from there. Um, we have a few injuries, I believe. Let's have a look at the tactics. We have... Um, tactics, please. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we have Barasa, who is injured uh, for another time. I mean, he has just... Um, he just came back from an injury of seven weeks. Now he's out for another eight days. So Valenzuela here today on the right. And Badaloni up front. For the rest, uh, everything is... Uh, it's the same, so everything as planned. Let's go, and hopefully we can beat Veracruz without um, problems. Is that a thing on Football Manager? I don't think so. So, here we are. And uh, a good pep talk from our assistant manager. And let's go. Come on. Let's do this. Let's. Um, Toluca are the only team who are guaranteed a place in the playoff. Um and they are first and they're leading they're leading by by one point so a win today should guarantee us a place in in the playoffs basically what what was that <laughs> alvarado what a goal two minutes 50 seconds on the clock and let's have a look at that again because i honestly i wasn't paying attention basically Selly passes the ball to alvarado Ledesma, back to Alvarado, first-timer, on his right peg. Wow. That's what I call a good start. Yay! And we're first now. We're first because, obviously, we scored very early in the game and Toluca are still drawing. So that's fine. But, obviously, we need more. We need to secure... I mean, Veracruz, I think, are 12th or 13th, so... We should beat them, but uh, you never know. Petty, come on, Petty, come on. He shoots! Okay, it's two things. Either the keeper is shy, or... Um, I don't know. It looks to me that it was... I mean, the keeper could have done much better there. I mean, I don't know if you hit him in the face with that shot. I think the keeper is um, not up to it. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he had any faults in the first goal, but this one, he had. He could have done much better, I think. But uh, I'm not complaining. I'm not. Oh, what a tackle there from Valenzuela. Come on. Lovely pass there. Badaloni, can he make it three? No. Not now. But we win a corner, so. So basically, what I'm was what I was thinking is that um, if we qualify with this uh, with this by winning this match, if we qualify to the champion to the championship playoff, what I was what I will do is to skip the last three matches. Well, I'll play them off camera because obviously it doesn't really matter if you end up first or end up eighth because you still have to play the playoff. 
Um, so I'll skip the the last three matches, and that's ooh, yep, that's number three, Badaloni. Jesus Christ, everyone slept there. Look at that again. He shoots. Was it outside the box? Let's see. Yep, what a pass again there from Petty. He shoots, hits the post, two defenders. <laughs> no one gets to the ball before Badaloni, who had to run all the way from outside the box to get it. But yeah, probably this is an easy game. <laughs> so yeah, if we if basically if we qualify with this win, we will I will skip, I will play the last three matches and then we'll come back for the playoffs basically. Because as I said, coming first or coming eighth, if I understood the rules correctly, um, doesn't really make a difference, so might as well. There's no use to watch the, the other th three matches. Uh, sorry, there, I hit the mic. At the end, it's half time. It's uh, five shots on target against their zero, and um, great, well, big, good possession of the ball and stuff. So we're dominating, guys. We are dominating, and um, we've managed to score three in the first 45 minutes, which is fine. We are still first, and uh, everything is going according to the plan, so happy days. What I want to do is I want to demand more, because I've seen a few players who are complacent, so I don't want to give them this small... Was it offside? I think it's offside. Yep. I don't want to give them the slightest chance to come back into this match, because, as we all know, Usually, there's nothing easy on Football Manager, and nothing goes according to plan, usually. Yeah, we know it was an offside, come on. Oh, I asked for more, and now they're pressured by my comment. Nice, well done. <sighs> Rosario with the corner, our central defenders now taking corners. <laughs> okay. Why not? Venezuela to our central defender who is playing as a winger basically here Ledesma tries to find Badaloni he does Badaloni to Petty Petty with the shot nice try buddy I would like Petty to score did he score? no oh yeah he did second goal yeah, yeah, yeah. so okay so Selly is complacent Figaro picked up and up it's not one of our players so and uh, yeah this is an easy match wasn't expecting it so by it. it's gonna be a short episode guys it's going to be a short episode because um we are qualified for the playoffs torres there with a nice header unlucky <laughs> look at the average ratings there Sally is on 6.9 although he's complacent and the keeper our young keeper because our um Our keeper is still injured, so the young Torres is playing. But as I said, I'm gonna give him time because he's a good he's a good keeper basically. Let's have a look at him before we end up this episode since it's a short one. I mean he's twenty two years of age, Mexican. He's decent. I mean nothing well, but he's decent. He's playing well, so why not? Why not? So um, yeah, let's go to the dressing room. Let's ah uh, come on. Anyway, no fuck it. <laughs> Uh, I have to remember to keep an eye on what our assistant manager will say to the players before I click it. Because usually he fucks it up. Sally injured. Six days. What's wrong? Yeah, let's send our assistant. Atlas received 85k from Moren Transfer D. Okay, but alone is set for goal bonus. He's now one goal away from scoring 20 league goals. We have to give him 65k. Yep, let's congratulate Petty for his goal. Yep, well done, son. New Santos Laguna boss on spending spree. Yeah, now? <laughs> what is it? It's now 20 games into Jerry D's reign. At 20 games already. And he has already spent the vast majority of his transfer budget, a figure thought to be around 34.5 million. Yep. In this time, D has brought no fewer than 8 players to the club, including 11 million acquisition of winger Felipe Avila. 
which we forgot to register yet yeah. anyhow <laughs> so yeah let's have a look are we qualified yes we are qualified along with tigres and toluca so we have three remaining matches tijuana atletico san luis and tigres i'm gonna skip them and tomorrow's episode will uh, will be the playoffs so until then thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did so don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to whichever you new my name is jerry d and until next time hasta la vista